evening and salam ibu pertiwiku. A schoolgirl was burned to death in Bangladesh on the orders of her head teacher after she reported him for sexually harassing her. According to Bangladeshi police, the death of 19-year-old Nusrat Jahan Rafi last week sparked protests across the country, with the Prime Minister promising to prosecute all those involved. Rafi was lured to the rooftop of the school where her attackers asked her to withdraw the sexual harassment complaint she had filed with police, and when she refused, she was doused in kerosene and set on fire. Police Superintendent Mohamed Iqbal said that one of the 17 people arrested following her death had accused the school's principal of ordering the attack. Rafi suffered burns to 80% of her body and died in hospital on April 10. Facebook said in a press release that it had been storing passwords of millions of Instagram users in a readable format. Instagram is owned by Facebook after its purchase in April 2012. The statement by Facebook said they discovered additional logs of Instagram passwords being stored in a readable format and that they will be notifying the affected users. It added that the stored passwords were not internally abused or improperly accessed. This is not the first case when company employees could have access to passwords of social network users. In late March, Facebook it said it had been storing passwords of hundreds of millions of users in plain text format, making them accessible to the company's employees who had internal access to the system. Facebook said the issue had already been fixed. Well, that's all the news for now. I am Razi Ahmad and thank you for watching.